everybody, it's Mrs. A. Welcome back to the Creative Insider. As you can probably tell, it is winter and I have been busy making a huge mess, <laughs> but it's starting to come together and it's starting to look pretty cute. I am happy to have you back. Thanks for joining me. I hope you've been um, perusing the blog and taking a look at what we've got and enjoying yourself this holiday in spite of Christmas cards, Christmas shopping, and fruitcake. What I wanted to talk a little bit about really quick was that I was taking a little constitutional around the uh, grounds here the other day and I actually found a woodland flower blooming in the midst of all of the um, leaf litter and dead branches and cold winds which I thought was really uh, encouraging. I'll, I'll put a little picture up. Um, cute. <laughs> I took a look at that and I thought, you know what, when it's time, bloom. And so that's what I just wanted to share with you. When it's time, bloom. Now, I wish I had said that to myself a lot in years past regarding things that I had wanted to do but was afraid to do, that I was really excited about, that I held off on, that I second-guessed myself, I got too caught up in my own thoughts, and then I, I missed good opportunities, I missed good timing, and I just didn't honor myself and I didn't honor my creative spirit because I held back on blooming. And so maybe you are an indie author who is not yet published, who is looking at all of the information out there. You're in the LinkedIn writing groups. You're in uh, Facebook groups. You're, you're all over the place. You're searching those Twitter hashtags and you're looking at what people are posting. You're looking at their journeys, their experiences, what have they gone through, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I, I can't afford an editor. I'm never going to be able to land a, an agent or if it's published, it's going to flop, and you really want to. It consumes a lot of your thought, but you're holding back. So my suggestion is when it's time, bloom. So if you've had this dream in your head all year and you've kind of talked yourself out of it and you said, well, I've got to do X, Y, Z, or we've got a you know, car payment or we need a new dishwasher, you know, whatever reasoning you put behind it, you have had something in your mind, in your heart that you're passionate about that you held off on or you pushed aside for someone else. And I'm not saying that those people didn't need you. And I'm not saying that wasn't a valid thing to do because sometimes that's just what we got to do. But I hope in 2017, one of your, um, one of your resolutions will be to bloom and to give yourself permission to bloom. If you want to write a book, write it and uh, let's work together to figure out a way how so we can encourage each other and if you wrote it and you're afraid to get it published 2017 is your year we're going to get it published you know let me help cheer you on in that endeavor if you've been afraid but you just think it's just so good and you just can't let go of that thought gosh it really would i wonder what it would be like maybe i could and do you think maybe i yes 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 let's do it you know what are we waiting for life is so short so i hope that You'll think about that as we draw near to the <laughs> end of 2016. Ah, where did this time go? So when it's time, bloom, okay? Let's honor the bloom that is waiting to burst forth inside of us. And even if we don't sell a book, even if we don't land an agent, even if it's not the best book in the world, even if it's not going to uh, change the world, telling yourself yes honoring that and going for that dream in the coming year is worth it. It's worth it. 
Don't be afraid. If it flops, mind flop. <laughs> um, put a video out there, put a newsletter out there, put a blog out there. You've been afraid, you wonder, mm, nobody would get it, no one would understand. There's a target audience for everything. There's billions, billions with a B of people on the planet, you know. Look at the things going on in the world today and the people who are uh, headlining events and making music and things. And you look at them and go, I could do that, so let's do it, you know. And if we're the only one, our friends and family that knows, then well, what more do you want? You know, you'll know. And that's the important thing. So when it's time, bloom, it's time, it's time. So I'd love to hear what you're doing these days creatively. I um, am always looking for new things to tweet and share of all your awesomeness and your uh, projects. If you're thinking about a website, let me know. would love to talk to you. Um, and I would just love to talk to you people anyway, because you're creative and you inspire me. And that's what I want to fill my 2017 with is inspiring creatives who are just taking charge and blooming all over the place with whatever, sculpting, painting, jewelry, music, anything. So that is my wish for you this holiday season. Hear from the Creative Insider. The book is The Early Bird Cafe. The book is The Place Between Places with Lots more on the way. Yay. So put a jingle in your step. Have a holly, holly jolly. <laughs> and I will talk to you again soon. This is Mrs. A. Hey.